Now, let me clear the mission and let's look at something a little more complex. In fact, I've already done these waypoints. I'm just going to load in. Uh, this is my backyard, by the way. So anyway, here's a, a, an actual pattern that I might want to mow or a polygon. I've got some peach trees right here I need to avoid. And then I want to come down and decide here. Probably should have put a, another few waypoints here to make this a little, it's not perfectly uh, straight there. But this will suffice for demonstrations. And so this is, this is the polygon I want to mow. So I've already saved that out as BY1. So back over here, I can do my counterclockwise uh, BY1 and 60 inches. I'm actually mowing at 36 inches right now, but just this makes it a little wider apart, easier to see on the uh, mission planner while we're demonstrating. But you can go very small with those numbers. You'll get a lot more waypoints. But So I'm hitting Enter. Notice it created 105 waypoints in the file by1.waypoints. Uh, Back over here, let's load that in. And there's my mowing pattern. So notice it worked. It appears to have worked well even with a non- uh, you know, not just a rectangle, but something with more sides and more, uh, a little more complexity to it. Uh, we have the waypoints. Um, you will see sometimes, as I said, something a little odd, uh, but it, it usually doesn't really cause much of a problem to leave it as is. Uh, let's clear this and do a few others just to show you some things that can happen. You can end up uh, when when, cl when the clipper when when the uh, repetitive calls to clipper get to the point where they squeeze the polygon in to where the sides touch it stops so uh, you can have issues if you say you're doing a pattern like this where you're needing to come in and back out and over uh, and back in something like that let's see how that works I'm going to save that as T5 Come over here and run my CCW for T5. Go back and load that T5 mo. And now you see I've got a hole that didn't get filled in because once it uh, these two part sides met, it stopped. So you can have a few issues like that, but you know it's very easy to work around those in multiple ways. I can easily append a set of waypoints to these waypoints in Mission Planner with this feature. You right click, click on File, Load, Save, and Load and Append. So I could cr create create a polygon here totally separately and uh, build waypoints from that. Uh, so sometimes what I do when I want to do that, I create a polygon in there so that it's separate from my waypoints. I can clear the mission and then draw my waypoints based on those the polygon uh, anyway but uh, or another way to do it would be simply to uh, let's clear the mission well I didn't really have to do that but let's load the original waypoint file back in T5 okay so what I might do is just break this into two parts the upper half and the bottom half so I could uh, let me just delete this waypoint and delete this waypoint Okay, so I've got this pattern. Let's see how that pattern works. If I save that, let's go with T6. And if I run my uh, program for T6, got 61 waypoints. Let's load that in. And there we go, got a nice pattern. Now here's an example of, of kind of a, a wayward waypoint, way out here for some reason, but I can just move it back in and everything's fine. So. Uh, but now I've got that, so I'm going to save that since I made that one change back to T6 mode. Uh, but now let's, uh, let's just create another polygon down below. I noticed that the uh, lower, I'm going to have waypoints in common. Uh, th these waypoints that are at the bottom of this pattern will be the top of my other pattern. Okay, so let's load my initial waypoints. Uh, one and five are the two that I want to use as my upper boundary for my new polygon below. So I'm uh, deleting everything but those. And now I want to create, I want to enter the remaining waypoints for the rest of, the, of that shape. So it's a very simple shape. I had something like this. 
Um, <clears throat> the only thing, these aren't quite in the order that I want them to be. So I want, I want way, what's currently waypoint four to really be waypoint one. So I'm going to move it up for down below here. Uh, so that's number three and number two. Okay, so I've got it as number one. So basically that's what I want. I want my pattern to start in the bottom right corner and work its way around. So let's save that waypoint file as T7. Now let's go generate our waypoints for T7. Okay, let's come back in and load that waypoint file, T7 Mo. Now I've got a nice pattern. So now what I need to do is just append the upper part that I created earlier. So I can right click, go to File, Load, Save, Load, and Append. And that was T6 Mow. And there it is. So I'll mow the bottom part first because I had that one in first. When it gets to uh, the middle of that, which I guess was uh, waypoint 36, it's going to move itself up to now what's waypoint 37. That was waypoint one of the initial upper pattern, but and it'll mow that part. So you can work around problems if you have shapes that uh, don't work on the first pass um, and uh, make things work. And once again, once it's in here, of course, you can manipulate them and make them make you know, move, do some additional things if you need to. Um, so let's see. Another little bit, if uh, if you are trying to do a very large area, most of you may just be in yard, doing yards. I've been doing uh, fields with my my mower. I'm uh, really uh, beating it up. It's a bad boy mower, and I guess I'm finding out how bad it is, and it's done a great job, by the way. I can't say enough about the quality of those. But uh, this field, which is about a four-acre field, I think I've done that entire field with my mower. This one is another four or five acres. I've done it with the mower. Uh, so... Uh, and I've used it to do the yard a couple of times as well. But so when, you, when you're doing a large area, so let's just do this area back here. Uh, so if I was going to work my way around this entire field, uh, I might have a pattern uh, somewhat like this. Sometimes you can't put the waypoints close enough, real close together, so you have to zoom in or draw it somewhere else and drag it where you want it to be. But anyway, very easy to get waypoints in place here. Uh, working my way around this field and up to that corner there and that's kind of it I'm gonna move number one down a little bit okay so let's say that's what I wanted the most so I'm gonna save that pattern oh yes I'll save uh, and call it T8 all right flip over and let's run our pattern on T8 and I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm actually mowing 36 inches. I don't have my tuning quite good enough that I can not miss a little bit every now and then if I try to go a full 60 inches with my 60-inch deck. So I'm at 36. So notice it created 688 waypoints. All right, well, let's load those in and we'll see how well they look, how good they look. Uh, and my home is way down here. It you know, doesn't really matter, but I'll put it up here where it's, easier to see it close looks like it did a pretty good job with those waypoints um, it's got a few funny things going on I believe notice that's waypoint uh, 62 no that's 625 okay that's uh, way on into it but right in here for some reason waypoint 12 is way out here uh, so it's going to fly over there and back or, or mow over there and back. So you may need to move that around or delete it, you know, various things to work on it. But um, but it looks pretty good. But the biggest issue with this is that the PixHawk 1, I believe, that I'm using cannot hold this many waypoints usually. So it can do around 500 or so. So what do we do about that? Well, um, I could redraw my... A smaller polygon and do that first and do the other that's that works fine uh, what I do is just cut out the last part of the waypoint so I go into an editor uh, t8 mo is the file I can right click I use text pad you know whatever your favorite 
editor is. You go in, and uh, these are the original uh, uh, waypoints I created to, to give it uh, what to do, and then these are the ones my program generated down below. Uh, this this waypoint number doesn't have to actually be uh, in. Uh, sequential when you're when they load in which is a nice thing you can move things around in this file and not worry about those waypoint numbers the best I could tell waypoint this zero is the home position by the way so anyway I'm gonna go down here suppose I wanted to have 500 waypoints in here then I'm just gonna go down and delete 501 through uh, the N687 and I'm going to save this file as uh, T8Mo1, or let's say T8Mo8A T -mo, T -mo for the first part. Um, and let's close that and go back to Mission Planner and load that uh, waypoint file in, the A one. And uh, let's don't reset home. So notice that's the outside part, and so it's just missing the end part. So it'll it'll mow that and stop. Uh, one other thing I usually do, by the way, I usually make my last waypoint a loiter unlimited, so that when my mower finishes, it just s s sits there and, and tries to stay in that one spot. So that's a simple thing to change. But so I've done that. Uh, that's my first set of waypoints that'll get the outside of the field. Now all I've got to do is back over here. Let's go back into the original uh, Mo here, open it. And now I want to leave zero. That's my home, but I want to delete down to 500. So we'll just highlight all the way down to 500. And hit delete. Now I've got these. And notice it's starting with 501, but that won't matter. Now I need to do a file save as. I'm going to call that. T8 MoB and click save. Now back over here, let's load those waypoints. T Mo 8B. And there's the center part. So the combined, you know, two sets will do what I need to do. Here's another one of those wayward waypoints. Uh, I usually just put it back in the middle somewhere and let it let it just for that one little thing when it gets to that one waypoint it's going to make a streak up to here but not a big deal to be off uh, for me anyway I you know just uh, didn't want to continue at the time uh, trying to troubleshoot and understand that that one wayward waypoint situation so uh, let's see um, oops didn't mean to do that it wasn't just, I just clicked and created a waypoint so I now have my my uh, sets of two sets that will uh, allow me to work. Oh, and notice what I wanted to show you, no, you to notice is it created waypoints beginning with one. So even though in the file it began with 501, it still started with one here. So that's a nice thing that it doesn't really uh, use that waypoint number when it loads it in. So you can move things around in the file itself if you need to and uh, know that Mission Planner will not complain about that and we'll load things in. <clears throat> so I, uh, let's see, one more quick thing just to show you some patterns that, uh, well, I don't know. You can generate all kinds of patterns. Suppose I wanna have a weird pattern like this. Uh, let's see if this will work. All right, let's save that as T9. Flip over and run my program on T9. It created 275 waypoints. Let's load those in. Uh, and there it is. Let's see, it did pretty well. Uh, so, mm hmm Okay, so I hope that this will be useful to uh, someone. And well, see, notice it, it threw a waypoint way out here. So you have to be careful about that. Um, I have uh, had some bad luck. I, I was, I remember the first time I wanted to cut part of this field, generated the waypoints, and it threw a waypoint 
way over here near my pond, not in the pond, fortunately, but right along in here. But I knew that what I and I had I loaded into the into the uh, pig's hawk before I saw that it was bad. Whatever reason, I was trying to be uh, lazy, I guess, and said, "Well, what I'll do is I'll just when the moor begins to go toward that waypoint, I over in the flight data here, I will uh, just." change the waypoint to the next one and hit set waypoint and make it skip that waypoint well i it got there a lot quicker than i thought i mean it was going around this entire field quite slow but you know whatever reason i was doing something else and when i looked up it had already made it to the waypoint and headed back right through these trees to these way to the next waypoint and uh it was a kind of a disaster there was a little building down here and it had hit you know, it ran into the building and anyway so be careful with your waypoints but I uh, hope this is useful leave comments uh, ask questions I've got a couple of other utilities I wrote to shift waypoints over I'll, I'll do a video about that too but those are basically if you had waypoints set up and you realize they were off by two feet and you wanted to move the whole thing over two feet I've created a lap little uh, small program that'll shift everything by a certain amount in any direction so thank you very much